Daily News for November 29th, 2011. Yes, yeah, a historic event. Millions since Hosni Mubarak was ousted as president of Egypt. People came to vote. While thousands are still in Tanir Square demonstrating because not one of theirs is on the ballot. But then most of the millions who voted was women, which the men was very upset because they think, or uh, might as well say, the women should be inside cooking, fixing their food because they get cold in Egypt. And they are demonstrating because one of their own is not being on the ballot for president or PM. But the women go out there, they don't care about the men. Here's the poor husbands go out there to fight for right for their own and the women go out there they listen to anything they, they even listen to a car salesman and they just buy the car and the car breaks down on them when they get home and then they tell the husband fix the car fix the car oh, it's your fault woman you wanted to go out and vote especially one of the uh, Mubarak friends shame on you woman shame on you you make me mad you should be fixing my food when I'm going out there fighting for the right for what I own to become prime minister or president and then we can have a, a, a united country of Egypt no, we we divide it, and you want to fix food for them clowns, and leave me starving, and the policeman shooting tear gas and rubber bullets at me. Shame on you, woman! I'll marry my sixth wife, or go back to my third wife. That's what it is. Well, let's see if um, they could get somebody who is fair. <laughs> Without having millions and billions like The Rock would say in wrestling. Dwayne Johnson. The Rock. Millions and millions to protest. Hopefully they get it right this time. I'll be back with more LTI editorial news coming up next. DR Congo and the votes process extended. Why is that? Coming up next on the LTL editorial news.